I'm Alex, and welcome to my European Slaycation, where we will be slaying across Europe for 22 days to experience six countries, visit 16 different European parks, and ride 123 different roller coasters. It's going to be such an epic journey, and I'm so excited to share it with you. No. Please. Okay. I don't know what I did. I don't either. I think you're fine. Don't worry about it. Have a nice time. Thank did you we, so much. Did we do anything wrong? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, did, you didn't. And no, make sure they control it. Oh, okay. 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 I, was like, I was like, wait, what did you do? Something wrong? <laughs> okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, you guys. Today we are going to Movie Park, Germany. And it's gonna be a chilly, rainy day, <laughs> it looks like. So, um, good thing I'm wearing sandals. <laughs> yes. We have a Vacoma SLC here. Jeff hates the paint colors on it, but I kinda like it. No. I, like it. <laughs> I like it. It looks very like um, urban, like sketchy, like you're in a. It's giving um, Hunger Games. It's giving Hunger Games, yeah. That type of like apocalyptic y, like grunge. <laughs> oh, it's Iron Claw. You can see the entrance. I'll yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've officially made it into the park now. And thank you, Movie Park Germany, for the complimentary visit today. We're so excited to try out these roller coasters, especially the Star Trek coaster. That one looks so fun. This is a neat park entrance plaza here. I like the, uh, the fountain. It's giving a little bit of like Universal Studios. That's what it reminds me of. No, the bandit's down. What are we looking? Star Trek. Yeah, these wait times are not bad. Yeah, Movie Park Germany also hooked us up with three exit passes. Three. They, they make the threes like this in Europe instead of like this. So I'm trying to Star rewire my brain. <laughs> um, but we're going to start with Star Trek because it looks sick. Look at it. There it goes right now. Perfect timing. Here's like some of the midway, I suppose, or just this walkway. It really feels like the German Universal Studios. Oh, we have American flags. I just realized that. <laughs> it was like, we're in an American themed area, I suppose. The happiness station. You can purchase some happiness here. And like every town in America, we have a subway here. Okay, this is an American section. An American runs on Duncan. <laughs> oh my God, I might. Jeff what is a major Dunkies boy. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. Oh. oh my God. Should we go now? Should we look? Let's go after the rides. After the rides. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like this castle here. Time Riders. I wonder what that is. And we've got Ben Helsing's factory. Oops. You can't see the full name of it from where I'm at right now. And then look at this big gargoyle guy. That's very spooky. There's the Duncan. Ben Helsing's club buffet restaurant. Okay. Oh, and there's the SLC Iron Claw. Iron Claw. We have now entered Federation Plaza for the Star Trek roller coaster. Starfleet Academy Recruitment Center. That looks like the entrance. The wait times are so funny. 26 minutes. Oh, it says Bandit is six minutes now. Maybe it opened. Yeah. Bandit is a wooden coaster here. Apparently, she's very silly. And since we've got our exit passes, we're going to go in through the exit. <laughs> That was goofy. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this. I feel like we're in um, Cabana Bay, the Universal Resort. <laughs> it's giving Cabana Bay in here. I, I haven't really watched Star Trek, so sorry. Any Star Trek he's watching this. The trains look so clean. The white and black looks sick. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, Star Trek time. Here we go, Star Trek ride. Caution variable gravity area. <laughs> LOL. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this happened. <laughs> Craziest launch ever!
would too. I like that. Good airtime. Yeah, good airtime. All the inversions were really fun. It was just a little bit of a rattle, but that was like yeah, it. That's fine. Was a sleigh. I really enjoyed that. There was some good airtime. All the inversions were really fun. The um, reverse spike was super fun in the back, going all the way up to the top. Reminded me of Wicked Twister. Rest in pieces, Wicked Twister. <laughs> the only other things to really note was like the initial launch out of the launch area was just like super weak. Like there was no force to it at all. You're just kind of like, I felt like you're just like riding a lawnmower or something. A lawnmower has more acceleration than that launch does. But then the reverse launch was quite punchy though. Like boom, to, sh to shoot you up the, uh, the reverse spike, which was really fun. And the whole rest of the ride, just pure fun. Nothing like overly intense or extreme or whatever. Whoa, jump scare. But hey, these spooky numbers are a little less spooky. My watch time from subscribers has now gone up to 9% from 6%, so thank you guys so much. Let's try to get this above 10%. If you enjoy my videos, it would be super awesome if you could just double check and make sure you're subscribed, as it helps me out a ton. And you can always change your mind later. Oh, now we're going to California. We're heading to the Santa Monica Pier. We're gonna ride the Pacific Pier roller coaster now. Oh my gosh, the Beach Boys. That was Josh's 350th coaster. Woo! Woo! I'm closing in on 300. That was 297 for me, so I've got three more. Wait, I wanna make the SLC my 300th. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So let's do Bandit now and then like another coaster, I guess, I suppose. Drop Tower too while we're over here. Oh yeah. I, I love the Drop Tower moment. Whoa, look at the jet ski ride. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah, that looks silly. <laughs> look at them go. Zoom. Woo! That is also very America right here. All of us drive jet skis to Walmart. Up next, we're gonna be going on the Bandit. We've heard some very um, silly reviews about this roller coaster. <laughs> that she goes a little goofy. So here we go. So there's only a six minute wait time. We don't even really need the exit passes. Oh, we've got a saloon, a wild western saloon. Okay, interesting theming. It feels like the walls are like space themed, but then there's like wild west, like thrown into the mix. To give you some context about what I mean about how this ride is very silly, this coaster was built by RCCA, the manufacturer who built Son of Beast at King's Island. <laughs> and this one's still standing, so she's old. 20 minutes later. Well, seems that sign wasn't the most accurate. <laughs> we decided to save the exit pass because we're like, oh, it's only six minutes. We'll just run right on and use it if it gets busy. It's busy. It's busy, apparently. <laughs> we also just realized our thought process here, like, why were we trying to ride this again? <laughs> Maybe it's going to be so amazing. Maybe, Maybe it will be. Maybe we'll be. It's true. We need to see what you're Right? Here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that did not look comfy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Bandit time. <laughs> okay, a little bumpy already out of the station. <laughs> Here we go. Bandit was 
a goofy girl. She went a little crazy. <laughs> I rode in a non-wheel seat and it wasn't necessarily painful, but it wasn't necessarily good either. <laughs> I think uh, this says everything. <laughs> I don't think I've ridden a roller coaster that needs an RMC treatment more than the bandits. Um, but, except for maybe the boss at Six Flags St. Louis. There was one kind of like moment of airtime, but overall it's just like a pretty slow coaster and she makes some really funny sounds. So now we're gonna go on the drop tower, which is the same drop tower as Acrophobia at Six Flags Over Georgia. Here goes the sleigh tower. That looks pretty gentle. This one says a five minute wait. Oh, look at this queue. Okay, theming, I see you. This is a cute, like Q-U-E-T-E, -E, a cute queue. G-forces on the landing were not very, were not it. That was, that was not good. Ouch. Um, I feel that in my stomach a little bit. The drop was amazing, <laughs> but oh my God, no. Yeah, the drop was great. Okay, the drop was amazing, but I felt the landing in my gut, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Cause uh, the, it's a stand-up drop tower. So you just kind of straddle, you just stra you, you, you're straddling that, that thing. This, this little thingy right there. It's in between your legs. So, coming down the braking on the G-forces, squishes things. Oh yes, they have a top spin here too. Um, oh, those restraints look much nicer. Oh, wait, actually they look like the same ones. They're the same, Never mind. They looked like thinner, like there was less like bulkiness on you, but what is happening? It's like, oh, okay, a gun shell. I was like, my American mind is like, what's going on? Are there chainsaws now too? What is happening over here? Oh, it's a car show. There's cars racing over there, I guess. It's a parking lot. They're getting crazy in the parking yeah. lot. <laughs> There's people doing donuts in the parking lot. <laughs> We're in Nickland. There's a Nickelodeon area here. Yay. We always love that. Look at SpongeBob. There's the Backyard Against Roller Coaster. Mission to Mars. That looks cute. Ooh, Aang Avatar Air Glider. I don't like these rides though. I get kind of sicky on them. They're laying down on your stomach and like taking like positive G-forces and laying on your stomach. It's just not good for me. But we're gonna ride the Wild Mouse Coaster. I forget what it's called again. Log Ride says it's called Ghost Chasers, but it's like very much underwater themed. So why is it not just like a SpongeBob roller coaster? <laughs> oh. It's like the ghosts of the, the web show about the ghosts. Um, With the Flying Dutchman? Yes. Oh, thing. I see it. Little, little, little. <laughs> That was my senior quote in high school. Was it? It's in the yearbook. Okay. Ghost chasers. Here we go. <laughs> so, a lady was trying to bring her young child on this ride, and he was too small, so they had to leave, and the child just started crying and screaming, and the ride off just looks him in the face and screams right back at him. <laughs> yeah. Yes, here we go. The ghost chasers. Yeah. We appreciate that. Oh my god. It's tall. No, this is so scary. Holy <laughs> cow.
That was a fun and chaotic wild mouse. We lucked out so hard and they were asking for a group of three, so we got to skip like the entire line. We rode with a little boy and at the top, he started to get scared. So on the on-ride audio, that was me coaching him, like being like, hey, it's okay, we'll be okay. Like, we're safe. And I was telling him to just breathe, you know, like focus on your breath and we'll be okay. <laughs> Poor little guy started to get a little scared up there, but then he had a great time. So Ghost Chasers was my Coast account number 299. We're gonna go get some coffee and get some food and then go over to the SLC to make that my 300th Coaster credit because it has to be. For the longest time, all I had growing up was a Vacoma SLC. So it only makes sense that that would be like a big, you know, like uh, milestone Coaster count for me. <laughs> Wait, so this noodle store called Walk of Fame. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny because it's a Walk of Fame in Hollywood. Well done. <laughs> well done, Movie Park Germany. We find another place that has iced coffee. What we're looking for, but it's cold outside and now I want warm coffee. Take away. Iced latte, here we go, we're doing it regular. I'm gonna do the hazelnut as well, it looks nice. I'm gonna do a donut as well, might as well. Or it's just a regular chocolate one. Oh no. Order a party. A party donut. I want just a regular, just that chocolate one that's right there. It's not on the menu. Donut moment. <laughs> oh, there's a bite taken out of it already. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yeah. <laughs> they call me a mastermind. It was all by design. <laughs> Yum. These trees are interesting. It's kind of cool. Yes, here we freaking go. <laughs> 300th roller coaster going down. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. I know that we can do it. We're gonna ride a SLC. Look at this queue line. Imagine waiting like hours. Oh, it's spooky. <laughs> Some fabric hanging from a net. Wanted, dead or alive, Wingo Star. Also known as the Iron Claw. Okay. <laughs> It is actually, that's his nickname. Wingo Star's nickname. The Wingo awesome. Star is a bird. A bird. Sheriff. Sheriff. <laughs> Maybe. I'm assuming he's, he's a movie star who stars in lots of Western films based on the movies. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> this is a good uh, sticker. <laughs> All right, let's clean you up, sir. Yay! Will this be a Vacoma SL Slay or an SL See You Later? Find out in a few moments. Seems Wingo Star was a baddie. His name was Fame. Here he lies in shame. Oh, that's his grave? He's dead. Oh gosh. That's depressing, yeah. Um, Joy was never an option. Jeez. Poor guy. Had a terrible life, it seems. I buried my good times for pity. Makes better rhymes. Wait, what? What does that even mean? And then nothing left but theft. And then a dead person. Oh, there's more graves underneath the ride. Those must have been the people who fell out. Also, we have a debate. Let me know in the comments what you think of the color scheme of this ride. Do you like it or do you hate it? <laughs> Jeff and Josh hate it. But I like it. I think it's good for a roller coaster that's loosely themed around a western a western thing. A bird. bird. Yeah. That's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's also dead. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what is there's more there's another movie poster about wingo star one eyed laps instead of one eyed jacks i guess so in blazing feathers okay we've got a back row blowout time Woo! incoming Woo! yeah uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dance here we go <laughs> Oh, my God. 
okay though, really wasn't bad overall. It was pretty smooth. I would go as far to say this was a Vekoma SL sleigh instead of an SLC later. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything except for that turn right there. Yeah, that this this crazy. one? Or was it here? I think it was there. The inversions were all good. Yeah, right. Yeah, she got a little silly on that turn. She just did not like it. Yeah, she, she did great on this sideways moment, but... 300th coaster credit! Woo! Down! Done! <laughs> okay, it's like actually raining now. My legs are cold. Nope, oh, free feet content. Gotta blur that out. <laughs> uh, oh, this is interesting. We entered the Van Helsing restaurant. Van Helsing's kitchen. Ooh, this guy is spooky. Look at him. He's cute. Uh, Nosferatu. <laughs> it's giving Nosferatu. Oh boy, they have wiener art here. I want to get some of that. Okay, yeah. For yeah. 16 euros, we got this big plate of food. I got schnitzel. And, and um, um, this. Gosh, got the same thing. Yeah, I got schnitzel, potatoes are gratin, and mushrooms. Potatoes are gratin. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh. Mmm, it's really good. Can I buy this schnitzel? But schnitzel is just like breaded chicken and some type of like sauce. It tastes like a stew type of sauce almost. Like there's some veggies, bell peppers, and onions in there. And the all gratin potatoes are really good as well. Exploring moment. Oh, there's boxes and lighting and some booths. Interesting. Oh, that'd been cool. We could have sat up here. Oh well. Next time. The rain has let up, so we are re embarking on the journey again, the adventure. And our next ride is going to be Van Helsing's uh, factory. I think that's what it is, yeah. An indoor bobsled coaster, so that's cool, another bobsled coaster. Always a good day when you can ride a bobsled coaster. That's what I say. The wait time is 41 minutes. Specific and it's always so wrong. <laughs> yeah. Jeff just said it's always so specific, but it's always so wrong. Cashier. Ding, ding, ticket. No filming, I'll take me on that. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Well, that was actually so much fun. Um, so it was not a traditional bobsled, like the bobsled coasters um, we have, we, we've been experiencing. This is just like a, a Gerstlauer wild mouse, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that actually got me. <laughs> That's great. That's so funny. That actually made me jump a little bit. Yeah, the turns went absolutely wild. We, we took some going really fast. We're like, oh my gosh, cool. Very well done ride. Really enjoyed that one. I will also add, this is definitely my number one coaster at the park so far. That was so much fun. Van Helsing Factory, more like Van Helsing Sleigh Factory, because <laughs> the ride was a, a big sleigh. And we slayed a vampire. That was pretty cool. So the wait for that was not bad at all. It said 41 minutes, but it was literally like 15 minutes maximum. I don't even think it was 15. It's quite the log bloom for Dora. <laughs> Scream. Dang it, I just realized I didn't get on-ride audio for Van Helsing's factory. <laughs> That's such a bummer, because that was such a fun ride. Our next coaster is going to be the Movie Park Germany Studio Tour. Here's a little bit of the track out here and out there. It comes out of the building here and then goes up and wraps around behind us here to come down this way. There it goes. Looks like a fun family coaster. No idea what else happens on it. We will find out soon. Cute little reception area. Okay. Filming today, action movie sequel. Untitled blockbuster stunt movie sequel. Okay. Sounds like things are gonna go a little crazy in here. Are we gonna get a show? There's a projection screen. <laughs> It's cool. Showing some of the concept art and sketches of the park. Wow, we still have people working in here. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, cool. That's like Van Helsing, the one that we yeah. just did. That's a, a model. Okay, wow, this station looks really nice. The lights are pretty cool as it counts down the dispatch. Here we go! Movie studio tour! Here we go! Hey, Gorilla. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh, we're still 
feeling the tornado. Ooh. Here we go. fun ride the dimming was really cute and there was just like a lot happening at one point we were like in a house that was getting hit by a tornado and then we were reverse launched out of it that was pretty sick the ride was not super thrilling itself like the roller coaster was rather tame but it was still really fun had a good time there's a whole nother duncan in the uh movie studio tour gift shop that's funny oh my gosh i just realized my hair is looking silly <laughs> it's all sorts of messed up so I ordered a drink from the Dunkin' in there. The one time I wanted a hot latte and I just I just did not specify ice at all. I just said one hazelnut latte. They gave me an ice one. <laughs> I'm like, uh, whatever. I wanted something warm since it's a chilly day. Our next coaster is going to be the Hang and Bang. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Flyer. It's called the Hang and Bang because it's a Vacoma like flyer, like family coaster. And that's just what everyone refers to them as because they're really rough. <laughs> but look at the Crusty Crab! And one of those Spongebob houses. It's funny how the houses are all like cups that have fallen down to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, and there's Squidward's house and Squidward flowers and there's Spongebob. The Chum Bucket! Yes! Oh, look at this area! This is fun. Oh my gosh, there's um, Raphael and Ninja Turtle coming out of the sewer. This is for kids to just drive around. They can practice driving. Like, just in a street. There's a sign for the ride. Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Fire. Here we go. The Robo Barber. I could sure use one of those right now. I forgot to get a haircut before leaving for Europe. I'm like, oh man, my hair is just going to explode and I'm just going to accept that. The Mind Melting Hypno Bean. They've been taken by the Smiler. The kids section music goes wild. Ariana Grande's Break Up With Your Boyfriend because I'm bored right now. And then we had Olivia Rodrigo's and Nothing Is Censored, which makes me also like, why is it so censored in the US? Like, why does it matter swear words that describe something? Like, why is that such a bad thing? I understand derogatory terms. Absolutely not okay. But like, why are some words censored to describe things? But others aren't. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's never made sense to me. Anyway, we're about to go on Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Flyer. Atomic Slayer. Got a blast. Got a blast. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Slayer. Oh my god. Whoa, that came really close to my knees. Whee! Oh, it's smooth. It's actually super smooth. Okay, it's more like it's more like a hanging smooth now. This is a hanging sleigh, actually. Okay, this is slaying so hard. Woo! Yay! That was great! That was an absolute slay. Yep, that was a full slay. Maybe even a slay and a half. Mm, I don't know. Full, one whole slay. What? Slay and a quarter. Slay and a quarter. Yeah, slay and a quarter for sure. For the, for the Q music. Yeah, <laughs> the Q music with Ariana Grande played. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's alligators in the water. Oh, we got a log. Flash. After riding Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Flyer, we have one coaster left in the park pit. And it's the Backyard Again's Mission to Mars. Oh, well, we're not able to ride this. We are too long. It's great how many trains they're able to operate at a time on this wild mouse here. Like, look, there's two still up here. It's so fun watching all the cars go through the layout. Like, they always go underneath each other here. That's so cool. Alrighty, our next attraction is gonna be Excalibur, Secrets of the Dark Forest. This is Movie Park Germany's River Raft Ride, so we saved this for last, um, along with Area 51, the water ride. So just in case we get wet, we can just go change before getting in the car, and we're not soaked all day long. But we don't know how wet we'll get on this. Hopefully not very wet. Um, but we'll see how it goes. These trees are really cool. These are kind of like willows, but like not. <laughs> not willows? I don't know. They give a very magical vibe though. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Nicely themed queue line in here. People are cheering. Oh, we've got... Look at this. Look at this space. This is really cool. Courts of the Order of the Round Raft. <laughs> oh, what? Look at this. This is awesome. Are you kidding me? 
This is so sick. This is just like a totally different level than the other side of the park, like where the coasters are. I guess that was the remnants of Six Flags because this park has been handed down through many different owners. And uh, yeah, I guess this is more of what Movie Park Germany has done now. The current owners, I assume, have done these more well-themed rides. This way to the dark forest. If you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. Cool, there's a station platform down here. It looks so mystical. We're up here on the bridge, about to go down there. This is tripping my brain out right now because the platform in my eyes looks like it's still, it looks like the stairs are moving. I don't know if that's coming across on camera right now, but that's so weird. There's our boat. The costumes are getting tall. This is so cool. Quick look at the station before we hop on. So cool. And there's our boat. Here we go, Excalibur. No, I think it's really good. What? This is so cool. Yeah, this is super cool. It's very well themed. Whee! What's better, this or the drop top? This. <laughs> We're on a lift hill. We're at the top of the lift. Now, about to go into the water. Now we're in the water. I like that. That was pleasant. Yeah. yeah. There's so a big slide coming up. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Woo. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm hit. I got hit by some water. Whoa. This is so cool. What? Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that thing. Whoa. Oh, it splashes water through here. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh, that was such a direct hit to you. You deserve ah! it. We got sprayed. Wow. The things are spraying us. The unicorn. The unicorn. Ah! Whoa. Ah! Whoa, look at this area. This is cool. The sea monster. So cool. Ah! Whoa. Spinny. We're spinning a lot. Oh, dark. it's so dark. Why is it dark? I can't it's see anything. Oh. Ah. Oh. I got wet. There it is. Excalibur. Oh my god. Let's take it. Excalibur was definitely one of the best river after rides I've ever done. The theming was awesome. It was fun. And we didn't get super soaked on it. We got a little wet. There was one moment where water splashed over my shoulder. Thankfully, this jacket kept me dry. Um, my pants are a little wet but really not bad. My, my feet def definitely got wet. Uh-oh, free foot content. Oh no, you guys gotta pay for that. Time to start my only feet. But that was freaking awesome. All the large theme structures or whatever we went through was really, really cool. And the, the ending room with Excalibur was so massive and grand. That was awesome. Really enjoyed that. We're now heading to ride Area 51 and that's gonna be our last attraction for the day. Last ride of the night. Unfortunately, my ankle is just like, ugh. It's just bothering me. It was bothering me a lot this morning and then it like kind of calmed down. I think so wearing my sandals instead of my vessies that are old and like worn out now. I think that was like hurting it. But now it's tired and it's just bothering me. So this is all I can really do. And we've got a big day at Europa Park or <laughs> big two days at Europa Park, I should say. Just every single day, the rest of the trip is a big day. So I'm like, I'm happy with my experience. I need to let this girly rest too. Look at my ankle. It's all bruising and stuff. What the heck? Oh my gosh, my right ankle is bruising too. I'm falling apart. Taking a moment to chill and elevate my ankles. Try to let them drain some. The boys want to go do this Lost Temple ride. Apparently there's dinosaurs on it. It's a 360 simulator. As told by this sign here. I'm just out here chilling. Oh, watch the Star Trek go. While they go do the other ride. Uh, no, it was a bad. So first, we got <laughs> stuck in like the grouping area, mm -hmm. like after we had already went through like the pre-show, yeah. and then like just got, so they're like, the ride's closed, we just have to wait here. Uh, we waited there for like 10 minutes, yeah. and then we got on the ride, and like the ride is a mess. She's just not it. You were right that it was like, oh, no. like long, but yeah. it's a vehicle that moves into the screen. Does the things and then moves back out. Yeah, but like half the projection That's it. Just didn't work. Yeah. Like the 3D oh. was like off, but and then like the projection was like super blurry, so like everything you couldn't really see anything. Yeah. And like the car just kind of stood there, and then every now and then it would just go like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it didn't match any, it was, anything that was cool. The cue was really cool. Was cool. Like, the cue was amazing. I was, was like, like I'm definitely intrigued by this. The exit where it was just like amazing, but like the ride was just. Oh bad. no. <laughs> Oh no. Well, that was a really good time for me to 
elevate my legs though and yeah, I watched an entire League of Legends video so <laughs> out here so it was a good time. <laughs> okay here we go area 51. The last ride of the day as I'm limping through the queue line. Photography is prohibited. Oh man. <laughs> well, guess we gotta go. Yeah, Hee hee. I'm taking a little more footage. Uh -huh. She is such a gentle first launch. <laughs> it was so slow. The backwards launch hit, so. Yeah, whipped over that in the back. So fun. That little double down is nice. Right there, and off air time to get there. Oh, here they come. Oh, okay, that doesn't look too bad. The wave did not like cascade over the boat, so I think for the most part it just splashes outward. Yeah, I think it won't be that bad. right. I think it's fine. Me too. Ooh. On a boat. Look at us, we're sailing on a boat. Got to go into Area 51. It's gonna be super crazy. I'm scared. Here we go. We've been chosen. The giant tunnel. Oh, okay. Area 51 went so much harder than I was expecting. That drop straight off of the lift hill felt like it went on forever. And then we got absolutely drenched at the bottom of it. The theming was really good. They had a lot of really good animatronics. There's a moment where we hit a turntable and went backwards. It was just kind of like a conveyor belt backwards. There was no drop, which I was like hoping for a drop, but the effects are really good though. There's water pouring in from the walls and then like the pillars kind of like fell over a little bit. <laughs> I got soaked. Yeah. Absolutely um, drenched from that. Now it's raining, so that's a sleigh as well. Um, but that was a good way to end the day. Now we can go out to the car, change and get dry before our two and a half hour drive this evening to get to the hotel. It is currently 547. So we're gonna get to the hotel probably about like 9 p.m. or so, or considering a stop for dinner. This was super fun though. I really liked that ride. That was great. It's just like difficult getting soaked in this, in this weather. But oh well, still had a really good time. And that concludes our time at Movie Park Germany. This park ended up being really fun. I was a little like, okay, what's going on here in the beginning? But then as we got around to the newer attractions and the really well-themed attractions, it started turning around for us and it was super fun. I really enjoyed everything we did here today, including Bandit and the SLC. That was silly because uh, the SLC was my 300th coaster. That was freaking awesome to get. And um, now we are making our way out to the car. I am going to rest my poor little ankles they're so dead because tomorrow we have europa park we're gonna be there for two days and then we go to fantasia land after that for two more days it's gonna be epic i cannot wait for those parks driving through cologne hey yo vibe check we got the smiler pjs the icon jacket yellow target shirt the socks and sandies for dinner what are we having mm, burger king Burger King. Die. <laughs> so we ended up in a German train station. Cool. In Frankfurt. Uh, look at this. Our hotel is a six minute walk away, which is like not bad, but like <laughs> when walking hurts, it's a little bit of a walk. But anyway, here's the train station. Made it out of the train station. <laughs> For winning. <laughs> For winning. 
We're slaying Frankfurt so hard right now. Room reveal. We have a light. Oh. Bed. Window. Okay. Oh. It's actually quite extreme. This is spacious compared to last Yeah, this is nice. Okay. Where's the bathroom at? Is it in here? Oh, there it is. Cool. It's like the same as the yeah. others. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's bigger than yesterday. It's bigger. Yeah, it's much bigger. Yes, this is a really tight. Yeah. That's this nice. is cool. Yeah, cool. Nice. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. I, look crazy. <laughs> I do. I look absolutely insane. <laughs> my eyes are like red even. Yeah, I'm like dehydrated. Good. I need to drink water and go yeah. to bed. In the next vlog, we go to Europa Park. This park was so freaking awesome. I'm so excited to get this vlog out for you guys. Sorry, no preview right now. Um, Final Cut just decided to die and I'm too tired to deal with it right now. So the video is just over. Um, I'll see you in, I'll see you in Europa Park. <laughs>